leading contributors to the feminization of the black male? Is it by design? Or what, what, what's really going on? Because I, I see a lot of, you take Black Lives Matter, for instance. The face of Black Lives Matter was an openly gay yes. black man, D. Ray McKesson. Mm -hmm. um, again, turn on CNN. I don't think they have a straight black man that mm -hmm. works on CNN. Mm -hmm. And there seems to be this, this trend where the people who are selected mm -hmm. to be our voice mm -hmm. are either LGBT, interracial mulattoes or whatever, or in interracial relationships. I'm talking about Van Jones. Uh, mm -hmm. and, you know, White wife. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shannon Sharp. Mm -hmm. A lot of people in sports. A lot of people in sports. I was hurt with Shannon because I really appreciated the way Shannon stood up and stood out and spoke out during the Colin Kaepernick ordeal. And when I found out that Shannon Sharp was, at least at that time, engaged to a white woman, it crushed me. Because I said, here's a brother who's on point. But then it made sense to me. That's the only reason why he in that chair across from Skip. Well, you know, because look, he got that white woman at uh, home. No, everyone that I see in the spot, not they everyone. They are compromised so, in some way. It, Either they're, they're in interracial relationships. Why is it? Why why do we not have the strong black man? Because there's a war against the black family. America has already tried to destroy the black male. America has tried to destroy the black female. America has tried to destroy the black child. Now, America has come to a maturity in their genocidal campaign where they now want to destroy the black family as a unit. That's why when you look at all of the new shows on television today, they're homosexual or biracial. Look at all the commercials you see on TV, homosexual or biracial. When is the last time you saw a richly melanated black man and black woman with richly melanated black children on a show or a commercial? You don't see them. Let's take Empire. And I just ran into Jesse Smollett in uh, Harlem two weeks and, ago. And he's biracial and, and homosexual. homosexual. Yeah, so he checks all the boxes. Yeah. So you take Empire. You got four leading black male actors in the number one miniseries in recent American history. You got Lucius, Andre, Hakeem, and Jamal. Lucius, you got a narcissistic black male from Philadelphia. Don't trust his baby mom. Exploits, uses women. Don't really like women, except for sex and to use them. Then you got his oldest son, Andre. Ivy League trained, accountant, white wife. Then you got his next son, which is Jamal homosexual, in love with a white male. Then you got his youngest son, Hakeem, hip-hop head, heterosexual, doesn't trust women, uses, abuses, and exploits. How can you have four attractive, leading black male actors in the number one miniseries on TV and not a single one has a positive and healthy relationship with a black woman? You know why? Because they are socializing and indoctrinating our children. Empire ain't for you and me. We know better. Empire for our 12-year-olds, empire for our 14-year-olds, because if my 17-year-old daughter looks at that, she would ask herself, why would I ever want to be with a black man after watching this? And if my nephew, okay, who's 12, 13, looks at empire and looks at the way the women conduct themselves and carry themselves, why would he ever want to be with a black woman? These shows are political, designed to brainwash black children against authentic black love. Were you aware that the creator of Empire, Lee Daniels, is a black male, homosexual? Oh, not and, only that. In a relationship with a white man. Not only that, Lee Daniels has a movie coming out called Pimp, I think it is, starring Kiki Palmer, who is a lesbian pimp. And he's working on the first black homosexual superhero character. Now, as I said before, I love all black folks. I can sit down and talk to gay, lesbian, it don't make a difference to me. Because I'm here to make you understand, overstand, and understand what's being done to us. But here's my question to Lee Daniels or anyone else. And I've never gotten an answer back yet. I've never gotten an answer. My question is real simple. How does the promotion of interracial or homosexual lifestyles benefit the black community? I've been asking that question for 20 years. I haven't had anyone answer it yet. You know why? Because there is no answer. If you care about we, there's no way you can be about that. Lee Daniels also did Precious. Yes. Another black exploitation rendition 
of the worst aspects of black behavior in contemporary American society. Here's my thing. We do have some of that in our community, but so do European Jews. So do Italians. So do Latinos. So do Mexicans. So do Arabs and East Indians. My issue with these precious movies and the Tyler Perry movies is that every time y'all make a movie, y'all only show us at our worst. White folks also have this. Degeneracy is not the exclusive prerogative of any one group of people. But when it comes to black people, 85% of how they show us and show business is negative and filled with these images. With white folks, you see some of that, but 85% of what you see from white folks, they're the doctors, they're the lawyers, they're the business owners, and most of all, they're the saviors. Well, at least they have diversity. They to have diversity yeah. in presentation. That's right. There's no diversity in the presentation of black folks. None and why is that? From a propaganda perspective, what? You must kill the image of the black male before you kill the black male. If you study Adolf Hitler's campaign against the European Jews, which was an atrocity, he committed an assassination of the image of the Jew in the German mind before he carried out the human extermination. That's what America is doing. But what is the difference between the extermination of the black man's image in America and the extermination of the European Jew's image in Germany? You know what the difference is? The difference is the European Jew did not participate in the extermination of his own public image. The black man is participating and financing the extermination of his own public image. Look at hip hop. That is the extermination of the black male's image. Look at the Tyler Perry movies, the Lee Daniel shows. Look at the reality shows of black women where they show our women as thirsty, sexually uncontrolled, masculine, and undesirable. But here's the thing, Baba. We are volunteering. We are complicit in to our, destroy own our own destruction. Absolutely. And that's, that was my next statement to you or question. Why, with all their money, are the LeBron Jameses and the Jay Z's and everybody else partaking in this? Do they not have a choice? Are they compromised in some way that they have to go along with this? Are they sadistic? Is it is it self hatred? Mm -hmm. What is it all of the above? Because what I what I don't understand is why are the people we celebrate the most among ourselves, the black people we celebrate the most, seemingly the most weaponized against us? Dr. Francis Cress Wilson, greatest African psychiatrist in modern history from this city, said, "If you don't understand white supremacy." what it is and how it operates, nothing else will make sense to you in this society. The reason why those who are least interested in helping us fix our problem are the most celebrated is because they are the ones that are put out in front of our children to be celebrated. If you were not loyal to black people before you got rich, you definitely will not be loyal to black people after you get rich. But let's go further. During slavery, when a rebellious slave misbehaved, what would they do? They would put him out in front of all the slaves and they would whip him and tar and feather him and lynch him as a message to the others. Every generation, white America makes a sacrifice of a black celebrity. Look at your entire life. I've been on the planet 45 years. Every generation of my life, every decade, white America finds a celebrity that they put out and destroy them as a